Hi everyone, what's up? It's Jenna Davis here. So I heard about the My Haunted Dolls YouTube channel from Kevin and I just had to send a little video message to say hi to y'all. This is just so cute. I love how you guys have a whole community just surrounding like on horror and haunted dolls and I'm just so honored that you guys enjoy Megan and it just meant so much to me to just be able to say hi you guys and that you guys support the film and love haunted dolls. That is so fun. I need to go watch these videos now. I am so intrigued to check out the channel so I'm gonna go do that now but I love you guys and thank you for watching. Good evening and welcome back to My Haunted Dolls. Tonight we have a new doll joining us who just came to me a couple of weeks ago. And her name is Nadia. From what I understand, her little spirit comes from a very special and historic place. And hopefully she'll tell us a little about that tonight. As you saw the intro, Jenna Davis, the voice of Megan, real sweetheart. She sent me a voice message a few days ago because I shared her pre-save for her new single that's coming out, so be sure to check that out. And oh, she's just sweet. Just listen to what she said about me. Kevin, you're the best! Let's hear that again. Kevin, you're the best! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nadia. And she comes to me from the Haunted Emporium, a place that has a lot of amazing haunted dolls. This is, I believe, my first adoption from them. She's a really beautiful girl. Oh, she's giving me a picture. Whoa. <laughs> That's strange. Oh, okay. That looks like uh, some kind of revolutionary one. You know, Battle between the, maybe the British and the Native Americans. I don't know. Kind of a awkward picture to throw up there. So, um, yeah. Nadia, I don't know if that's anything to do with you. She likes you. She likes me. Well, I like her too. This is the spirit talker. Oh, Nadia, I like you too. Go ahead and get the volume adjusted on here because we don't want to wake anybody up. There we go. Tom, Thomas. Thomas. Is Thomas your father? That was a no notification on my tablet there. Is Thomas your father? Nadia, I'm going to tell your story, but remind me, how old are you, Nadia? Tell us how old you are. Seven. Seven. Thank you. That's what I was thinking. Thank you, Nadia. That is so wonderful. Nadia, tell us where you're from. Or just give it the best word that you can, if it's the city or the name of the state, name of the, maybe the name of the place. If you're able to. If you need to take your time. Visit. Visit? Were you visiting there when? Doubt. Yeah, these words are making sense to me here as, the, as I tell the story. But I want to first show this off. This is what they call a balloon light. If you pinch it, it lights up. 
And she also came with her own little cat ball. So Nadia, please, if you want to, play with your toys too. I don't mind. I also brought this little yellow ball over here if you want to play with it. If you want to just push Thank it. Thank you for Whoa. talking. Whoa, did you see that? Something flashed right across here. And you're welcome. Thank you for talking too. I'm sorry it took a few weeks, but I wanted you to get settled in. How are you doing, Nadia? Are you doing okay here in your new home? Oh. Or what? Please we'll... stay back. Please stay back. Uh-oh. Is the light bothering you? I saw an orb go across her face there. Uh, several seconds ago. Was that you, Nadia? Do you need me to turn the light off? Is it bothering you? Thank you for these responses. I don't want to crowd you, so I'll stay back if you need me to. Oh, you know what? I know who she was talking to. Charlotte. Right there. Because before I started filming, Maddie kept coming up here messing with her. And Maddie just jumped over there. Torch. On the arm. She came back over here. Torch? Yeah, this is like a torch, isn't it? And who is Charlotte? So that's who you wanted to stay back, huh? You want Maddie to stay back? I didn't think of that. Yeah, Maddie jumped up here two or three times trying to nibble her hair, and she tries to nibble her ribbons. And Nadia doesn't want that. I told Maddie that. I made Maddie get down. And she hopped up, she left, and then she hopped up on the arm of the sofa just tripod. now. Tripod. Tripod? Yeah, that's like this thing in my hand. It's like a tripod. Good. Thank you. But yeah, uh, it was like five seconds after Maddie jumped up there. That's when she said, please stay back. So Maddie's over there behaving and staying back, aren't you? <laughs> she might be sulking a little bit. But we can't have her chewing on Nadia's doll, can we? I'll go ahead and share what I know of her story. And these words will kind of make sense. Now, first, let me ask, though, Charlotte, is Thomas the name of your dad? Is that your dad's name? A picture. Oh, Nadia, is that you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Not sure what that means. She is definitely seven, though. And that's, I bet that's her. Oh, Nadia, you got the prettiest blue eyes. Brown eyes. Yeah, I've got brown eyes. Thank you. Do you, uh, you have blue eyes, right? That's what you're showing me in the picture. Deep blue eyes. Oh, just like your doll. You look like your doll, Nadia. Is that why you're you're with this doll? I really feel positivity coming there off of her. There was a fire here. There was a fire here. Uh oh. That was long before I came here, I guess, because maybe that happened before this house was built because this the old part of the house. See and the lights. See the lights? Oh, are you going to light up your lights for me? Oh, we did have, and we do, we have had two house fires in the past six months right here in town, just a mile or two up the road from me. A couple of miles up the road, it was a little bit away. 
So that might be what she's referring to. That was really creepy how that happened just weeks apart from each other. And I don't think it was the same house. Um, one of them got struck by lightning during a storm, so that was really creepy. That was about a month ago, I think. Oh, is that you, Nadia? Hey, pumpkin. Aw, is that the light you wanted to show me? Man, this is fantastic. Isabella. Isabella? Who is Isabella? I think there might be some other spirits coming through. Because there's other spirits here, and I think I have an Isabella here. I think I got a Charlotte here. I think they're just coming through. But Nadia, let me tell you her story. Nadia was alive back in the early 1980s in California. She and her dad. things happened. Oh, yeah, they did. I know. I'm going to tell our people watching what happened, and it was really bad. She came from, guess where? Guess where she and her dad lived? I'm not sure what. Metal. Metal? Aw. I'm not sure what happened to her mom. Maybe she'll tell me. But she and her dad lived in a hotel when they were kind of, I think they were a little bit homeless. I don't have the story in front of me, but I do know this. They lived, guess where, in the Cecil Hotel. Yes. Nadia was in the Cecil Hotel. They were living there. Now, you all probably know the Cecil Hotel. If you don't, that's famous for... Several years ago, the, the girl who was seen acting erratically in the elevator, and they let her, let her found her body in the water tank. That is also where the cupboard. night... Cupboard. It's like a big, giant cupboard, yeah. Um, they don't know how she got in there. It was very mysterious, especially hours before her death, the way she was acting on the CCTV camera in the elevator, like she was hiding from someone or something, and then looked like she was talking to someone who wasn't there. Also, in the 80s, a certain Richard, Richard Ramirez lived in that hotel. He was the notorious Night Stalker, a serial killer. And there were also other other connections there. I think the Black Dahlia was there sometime shortly before her death. Oh my gosh. There's the fire. Look at that. Oh. That may have happened here. I was going to tell y'all this house, the old part was built in the 19, it was 1986 when the last owners lived here. They built this house. This new addition was done about 10 years ago which starts from that floor. They built this den and the office in there later. So there had to be another house here somewhere, and it may have burned down. I don't know. There was an older gentleman who lived here, I know, back in the 60s. Uh, we talked to him, uh, an older gentleman that lives down nice the highway. Shoes. Nice shoes. Thank you. Talking about my house shoes? They're very comfy. Oh, there's an orb down there. <laughs> Checking out my house shoes. That's okay. Oh, if you're wondering who the lovely lady is over there, a couple of days ago I got that autographed picture from Lulu Wilson from uh, Ouija Origin of Evil. She played Dor Little Doris. She's grown up now, but can't believe that movie was already 10 years ago. But yeah, that was Doris, and she played uh, Linda in Annabelle Creation. She's the one that tosses Annabelle down the well. And she played Becky in the sequel, Wrath of Becky. She was also in The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. But she sent that to me. I don't know if I can... I can't zoom in with this camera, so I'll just go closer. She signed that to me. That was very sweet of her. So, yeah, just got here two days ago in the mail. So I just had it out there for display, and I probably put it in my autograph album. 
Or I might frame it. I don't know. That's a dang good picture. Isn't it? <laughs> um, I like the little heart she drew with my name there. That was so sweet. <clears throat> so, and of course I got Michael Myers out here for Halloween. Got the pumpkin lit up over there. So let's get back to Nadia and the famous Cecil Hotel. So Nadia was seven years old when she lived there with her dad. As she said, bad things happen there. Am I dead? Um, you are, but you're okay. All right, don't worry. You're safe now. Nothing can ever harm you again because you can only go through that once. So that's, you're, you're safe as you can be now, okay? And you're still you, okay? Um, oh, I just saw a the white... bad man's here. Oh, no. No bad men here. If there's anyone bad, get out in the name of Christ. You don't belong here. In the name of Jesus Christ and all that is holy, get out. And there's my little spirits making sure everything's okay. And Hilda... Is a great spirit bouncer here. She'll get rid of them. Don't you worry, Nadia. No negative or, or bad spirits are allowed here. No evil, no demons, no devil. So if you are here, get out in the name of Christ. We do not want you here. You're not wanted. You don't belong here. This house, this property is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. So getting back to Nadia. There's evil everywhere. Yeah, there is, but our faith in God, our faith in Christ protects us, okay? So we're okay. I have strong faith in Christ for protection, his angels. Oh, there's Lisa. evil all in the world. Lisa. Oh, and there's a picture. Oh, it's a lady. Is that Lisa? Is that someone you knew? All right, let's continue. <laughs> sorry, trying to get Lydia. Uh, I'm sorry, Nadia's story. Something waits. Something waits. Now I think spirit talkers just throwing things out there. So, because sometimes they just throw creepy phrases out there to scare you. So I'm gonna ignore that. Um, Nadia. One day her dad was going to work. He was leaving the hotel. There were other children living there with their families, and he told Nadia that she could play in the hallway with the children, but when she was done, she needed to go back to their room. So Nadia did as she was told. She played with the children in the hallway, and when they were done, she went back to their room, but the door was locked. So Nadia was a little nervous there, and she looked around, and there was a man there who saw her. And he beckoned to her. He said, come with me. I can get you a spare key to open that door. That's where the doubt comes in. I saw that word doubt. And, of course, bad things happen there. Unfortunately, she, even though she had some doubt, she went with the man, thinking, you know, i got to get back in the, the room like Daddy said. So she went with him. She did not return. And a few days later, it might have been a few weeks later, little Nadia's body was found in an abandoned house. And it was determined that the man who killed her was Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. That also might be what she meant about the bad man is here not literally here. She might have been referring to back then when that happened. Playing. Yes, I know you were playing in the hallway, weren't you? And you can play with my spirit children here. They love to have you. And you're safe here, okay? Do you want to play with the ball? Or do you want to play with your lights? Tradition. She's Tradition, yeah. Playing is a good tradition. Can you make your... See the little toy hanging from you? Can you make that light up? 
Nadia? That looks like a pair of glasses, but with three lenses. That's weird. Hmm. Sometimes Ghost Tube throws up unusual pictures that don't really have a meaning to them. That might, I don't know what it is. Nadia, can you tell me what that is? Can you please light up your light or your little cat ball there? I can't believe how still Maddie is being over here on the, the sofa after Nadia told her to please get back. <clears throat> Nadia, please light one of your toys, your little light you have there, this ball. Can you do that? Or you can play with a toy ball down here. Mess. Mess? Oh. You see a mess here? <laughs> I know the table's kind of got a lot on it. Do you like Halloween? Halloween is just three weeks away, I think, now. Grace. Grace? Oh, yeah, there's Grace here. We have God's protection. Everything's good. Nadia, what is your last name? Here, let's turn the spirit box on and see if maybe, ooh, somebody drove by really loud. There we go, all right. Let's try a necrophonic. I may have to, ooh, Michael's reflection looks creepy in that thing. <laughs> I'll turn it down a little bit so I don't wake up. Oh, whoa, that picture's creepy. Is that, uh, is that the man who hurt you, Nadia? Yeah? I'm sorry he hurt you, honey. He better not be here. Nadia, are you okay? It's like I said, monster. Yeah, he was a monster. We know, everybody knows who he is now. He hurt a lot of people. But he's gone now, okay? The police took him. And he was... Yeah. And he was uh, executed. That means they killed him. And he's gone, okay? He can't harm anybody ever again. <laughs> I think she said cool. I heard a faint cool. Nadia, what's your last name? Oh. I heard something. Couldn't tell what she said. Nadia, what is your last name? Did you say Burke? Nadia Burke? Girlfriend. <laughs> 
I said, Nadia. Now, if there's anything negative here, you need to get out in the name of Christ. She said, yes. Nadia, are you okay? Hi. Nadia, what was your dad's name? Thomas? Is your dad with you, Nadia? No. Is Tom... Is Thomas your dad? Nadia, is your dad still alive? No. Here? Oh. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're with Nadia. Sir, uh, what is your name? My name's Kevin. What's your name? Nadia's dad. Oh. To Nadia's dad, what is your name? Is it Thomas? Nadia, are you happy? Turn that up a little bit. Nadia, are you happy? Oh, there's a picture. Oh, a lot of people. Yes, oh, that's good. She said yes. Can you make your light turn on? Who are these people in the picture? Is that the town where you lived? Did that say lost? Who's lost? Selection. Wait, pumpkin. And the little girl said, sure. Maybe that's Nadia and her daddy. I'm glad you two are together. Nadia, what was your favorite game to play? said cat. Maddie's laying down in her spot over here. Na Nadia, what was your favorite game to play? What were you playing in the hallway at the hotel? Were you playing cops and robbers? I asked that because I thought I heard boom and bang in there. <laughs> Playful. Have you, are you, uh, since you've been here, have you been playing with the spirit children? Uh huh. Are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, Nadia, I'm so glad you're here, and I am glad your daddy's with you. Did you say your name is Joe? 
Yeah. Your daddy's name is Joe? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. I thought it said Thomas, but I guess maybe it's... Maybe it's Joe and Thomas. Joseph Thomas or something. She said, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Nadia, I'm so glad you're here. You're more than welcome to be here, okay? And your dad, too. What happened? If it's okay for me... If it's okay for me to ask, what happened to your mommy? Bad? Is your mommy with you too? Oh, there's a picture. Oh. That looks like a bridge or a... Getting a lot of old classic pictures popping up here. There's probably other spirits around. Nadia, what is this picture here? What? <laughs> she said, what? This picture here looks like a bridge or standing on the bow of a boat. I don't know. Bow? Do you and your daddy like boats? Oh, another picture. Looks like somebody in a raincoat standing outside a house. <laughs> How many spirits are here right now? Seven? Getting a lot of stuff here. Yeah. Well, Nadia, I'm so glad to hear from you. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, she said, I am. <laughs> oh, and I like you too, okay? In fact, I love you. Dave. Dave. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So if there are any spirits who don't belong here, please go back to where you came from and all other spirits. Please back away. I'm going to turn this off and close the door. I'm going to count down from five, okay? Okay, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, goodbye. Thank you, Nadia and Nadia's dad. And thank you to you all. That was my hand, sorry. Thank you to you all for tuning in and watching, and we will see you soon. Until then, happy hauntings. Go check out my website, myhaunteddolls.com. Buy my books. Follow the link to the Redbubble store and purchase your merchandise. Christmas is coming, and I will see you l later. Happy hauntings.